Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, LX450 frame down portion of our restoration, which is going to complete our project for our uh, overall brand new drivetrain. As you can see, we got uh, a lot of components in, and I'm just going to give you a walk underneath real quick. Uh, but first, here is the uh, here's the old transfer case, and as I walk underneath, I'll uh, I'll show you the new one that's in place. Um, so I just want to go over a couple of details here. You can see the long range tank is in. Uh, we're working on getting that plumbed in with AN fittings, uh, so it's a little more serviceable. That came from Long Range America, uh, and then. Uh, you may have seen in one of the other videos, uh, we went with some uh, 1.25 inch uh, 3D printed bump stops from FIGS Engineering. And we also put some bump stop spacers uh, on this uh, spring cushion here uh, to drop it 1.25 inches. That way we can regain or uh, retain the benefit of having that spring cushion. So we'll hit that spring cushion first uh, before we bottom out on the frame bump stop. Uh, we have uh, Land Cruiser Fills uh, sway bar extensions here and some King Shocks and uh, springs from Slee. These are the six inch springs from Slee and uh, they're actually made, uh, my understanding, they're sourced through Dobinson, Dobinson's. And uh, speaking of Dobinson's, we'll go into that in a second. We have our Delta rear pan hard bracket here. Um, and uh, let's see what else did I want to point out here. Got our gold plating on our uh, uh, load proportion valve, our brake load proportion valve. If you can see back in there, uh, the proportion valve has been replaced. Um, and then of course we do have all Dobinson's suspension components here in the rear. And uh, our axles are on here and all centered. But Here's just a nice look at the uh, at the whole rear axle assembly. And just while I'm here real quick, I'll come around. These are DBA rotors. And we did machine out. Uh, we have RCV axles in there, so we did uh, machine out our uh, we did machine out our uh, flanges and our hubs to uh, get the benefit of the uh, of the extra studs. There are four extra studs. You can see them here. Pardon the light, it's just a little dark under here. And pardon the background noise, they are working here. I'll take you around the, this side of the axle assembly. And uh, we have 488 gears in the, uh, 488 gears in the differential here. Uh, that is a new OEM housing. And we built that out of as many OEM parts, brand new as we could. Uh, the carrier is no longer available, so we did get a donor for that. Uh, over here, we uh, we also used a, a brand new uh, locker actuator, and that is the uh, Slee locker actuator uh, armor there. And uh, yes, you can see the adjustable Dobinsons. And uh, then these are the uh, King shocks, which we got from Filthy Motorsports. They are set for three to five inches of lift, um, and we did have them tuned to our weight. Uh, I did weigh the axle assemblies before they were put on, so we have our sprung weight and our unsprung weight. And uh, so let me just come around here. And this is the transfer case, and we went uh, with the uh, nitro gears in low range, so we'll have low low on that and uh, cleaned it up Joe cleaned it up and uh, painted it I think it looks really amazing and moving here to the forward you've already seen our uh, new transmission and one of ZFE uh, we, uh, we have Delta radius arms these are set for three inches and then of course I uh, painted the sway bar Red, I thought it added a splash of color and matched the calipers. We have the uh, Slee, pardon the light. We have the Slee spacers here and uh, new ABS sensors and lines. And then uh, our uh, 
drag link and tie rod we got from Slee. And this is that new OEM front differential assembly. It came as a complete unit. And I went over that in a video in the past. But let's see if I can kind of get you. You can see the OEM sticker on it there, right in the center of the picture. Got steel braided lines. You can see those brake lines. Same thing here on this side. On the front, we have uh, Dobinson Springs. I think we're gonna end up with around, you know, four inches of lift overall. It was kind of a, I'm, I'm pretty heavy and I'll go over the numbers and why we went that way in, in another video. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this. And uh, there is a video we did by the front axle assembly, 100% OEM that was all brand new and uh, Joe and I painted the uh, the calipers with the Eastwood high temp. I think Joe did the front ones, I did the rear. All right, have the King um, steering stabilizer in there. I'll just back up and give you a look at the whole thing. All right, so everything's uh, looking good. Should be on the ground soon. A lot more to do. Scope creep. Let's just walk under it one more time here. And uh, sorry about the backlight, but they're trying to get work done in here. Let's give you one more good look at it. So I think uh, as soon as this is done, that's it. It's mission accomplished. Um, Joe will have assembled every single nut bolt gasket piece and part for an entire drivetrain assembly all the way from under the hood down to where the rubber meets the road and that was our goal with this build 100% new drivetrain and then I'm going to crank out 200,000 miles on it <clears throat> I'll just give you a quick interesting look at some of the things we're doing that uh, Joe's been doing here he's placing my uh transfer a fuel pump or uh, the fuel filter for my uh, auxiliary tank uh, in a serviceable area here. I'll explain that in another video. Just wanted to give you guys a look up, uh, at, you know, a, an update we went with AN fittings on uh, all of the uh, transfer tank stuff. So everything's real serviceable. And, Hey, let's just take a peek at that new proportioning valve before I go. All right. I think that about wraps it up. Still quite a bit more to go as far as um, accessories, electronics, stereo, things, you know, superficial stuff on the inside. But really, he's kind of on the verge of dropping this on the ground and we'll uh, take a first spin. Anyway, I appreciate you guys dropping by. We'll be making off-road videos soon enough. Take care.